In this video we're gonna show you the real power of the X-ray gun that we have assembled. Let's go guys! Awesome! Move them! It's cool! We're gonna try to erase memory from a flashcard with a powerful stream of X-rays. And we're gonna try to destroy a web camera. Check how dangerous are these rays for human beings. This time we are well prepared. We have a lead set of armor. In purpose to make the most out of this X-ray tube, we had to rebuild the power supply system. There's a super modern multiplier in oil. It doesn't work at full capacity. That is why I had to find this one. It's an ancient transformer from a lamp TV. Imagine that. It is not going to make the constant current all itself. These multipliers will do the job. They are also from the ancient TVs. You are 927 type. Look at it. You are 927. We are going to use the measuring head for 1 milliampere. That's a detail from my Yak tape player. So the rear X-ray guns are made of old TVs, Mayak tape players and Chinese inverters for 220 volts. That is a new scheme. Let's see how it's going to work. Safety is everything. We are insulating the third multiplier, because we have found a tiny flow in it. Now we see that this wire is not insulated well. Here, from this side and that side. And that is dangerous, because the voltage will be devastating. That is how it looks like. Now we can turn it on. And enjoy the rays of good. <laughs> we don't need a socket, it has battery. Autonomous working. There are two batteries. This one supplies the coil, and that one supplies the high voltage multiplier. Eventually it creates a very high voltage, and it goes in this tube. Then, due to high voltage, the electrons in this tube start moving at crazy speed. And they're hitting the anode. There it is. So that's how the deadly rays of good come from it. Let's get started, friends. Let's get down to experiments. Wearing this armor, I feel completely safe. Let's finally test this X-ray machine. First, switching on the coil. There's light. Now we are about to launch the high voltage generator. Hope it will not explode. Let's make a fast test for a start. I'm worried. I'm afraid to be electrocuted. Why nothing happened? Wait for some time. It's so scary! Can you launch it? No, you do it! Is it glowing? I'm stunned! That's fairly amazing, dude! What was it? A dosimeter was seen through! I see this machine for the first time! There was a feeling, I felt thousands of needles were kind of touching my body, slightly like. Was it from high voltage? Yeah, high voltage, not radiation. Now we are going to carry out one of the most dangerous experiments. Now we can smash like in the X-ray emission spectrum. Guys, it's a real protection. So guys, if you don't have proper protection, never make X-ray gun. That can be dangerous. <laughs> Let's get down to the most exciting part. Turn off the light, take a lamp. Let's look at the display. Whoa! A mortal trick. Guys, please never try to make it. All tricks performed by professionals and for the sake of science. I was struck over there, through this to my leg. I felt the small charges, tingling. And when I turned it off, the current got on me. That's normal. <laughs> yeah, you mean it. That was a static electricity. And it came on you. There was too much metal. Turn it off. There it is. Have you seen that? It came from a multiplier. But why? Take this blue tape. That will help. That's how Kerasan team spanned weekends. Guys, look at the button. Yeah, we made it this way, not to be electrocuted. Yeah, it's made of liquid glue. Why on earth you haven't turned it off? 
The multipliers give enormous amount of voltage, and no wires can stand it. It even breaks through this car ignition plug. The current breaks through over the lamp itself. As you see, it's all covered in tape for good reason. The electricity just can't stop breaking through. We don't know what to do. Even this button electrocutes us. We don't know what to do now. And it came out of the battery too. We had to move it farther from the lamp. The voltage is insane. I think it's about 100 kilowatts. It's even more than we need. Well, friends, this experiment is going to be weird. We're going to take this player and put it in the race. Turn it on. Yeah, music. I've seen it even from here. Everything was moving here. This pool player is screaming and cracking. That's because we carry out scary X-ray experiments. Let's do it again. It's electrocuting. Now let's see what this X-ray gun will do to a smartphone. Will it erase any memory? Working. What? Broke out. Second triad. Enough, stop. Is it working still? Yeah, it's okay, it's all well. Enough, enough. Let me show you what's happening. Do you see this ball? Shield. That is the radiation shield and the sword. Because now we're gonna try a drill. We need it. Engineer starter pack. I knew that. Got electrocuted? From the button. The button again. In order to reduce the dangerous low energy X ray emission, we are going to add a layer of foil scotch tape. And now we are pasting it to a box from a wheat growth. Thus, it's going to become a protective screen. If X rays pass through this, the aluminium layer, they will become relatively safe for human beings. I don't want to take any risk again. Risking my hand was enough. It sucks. And there are some corona discharges. There are going to be lots of sparks. Don't scare me in advance, please. Ladies and gentlemen, X-ray show. The most dangerous thing, never try it. Film that? I'm terrified. Every hair on my body was standing upright, and little sparks were getting through this aluminium shield. I was making it as long as I could, and then I felt that it starts breaking out of the wire. It's very radioactive, but we haven't measured it yet. <laughs> so now we're going to check the radiation power that this X-ray gun can create. I have got three dosimeters. First the simplest, second is modern, and the third is the best. It can measure up to 100 rengens, the most powerful radiation. First we're gonna test it at 3 meters. Let's go. 3 meters distance is right here, near the piano. The background radiation is, well, one shows 9 microhenhen, another shows 8, and this one is launching. Anyway, as you can see, it's normal. Now let's turn on the gun and see how the radiation increases. Let's go. Turn on the monster machine. One is of scale. It's 9 million. Oh my gosh. Microhenhen per hour. Stop. It was 9 million microrenhens per hour. What? This one showed it. It was off scale. 9 million, joking? 10 times more than death bucket. Hey, I was standing there, dude. You were behind a wall. I hope that helped. But what if I was standing there? You would eat up 1 million. Guys, can you imagine this? That was 9 rengens per hour, at 3 meter distance. Even thinking about it frightens me. Let's try a meter distance. Dude, that is too hard. That is 1 meter distance. We're gonna use a super dosimeter, it can measure up to 100 rengens. And I'm installing here the action cam. Hope it will stay alive. After this fearsome emission, we will see about it. Turn on this nuclear machine. We're running. 40, it's 40 million microrenhens per hour, and the normal is 20 microrenhens, and it was 40 million. Maybe try it closer. There we go, 30 centimeters. That's really dangerous, I tell ya. It showed a kind of nonsense. I think it just couldn't cope with this radiation. It showed too little radiation, it can be true. I think the dosimeter has gone crazy. Maybe we can check out the distance this race can go, how far, I'm wondering. 
Now we are at 7 meters distance. Turn it on, Sasha. Turn it off. Have you seen that? 800,000. Oh my god, that's hard. Sasha is over there. That is a hell of a distance. Let's measure at 10 meter distance now. Turn it off. 300. 300,000. Oh my gosh, at 10 meter distance. And we're going to go even further. I couldn't imagine it will be reaching this far. Look where we are, facing the border of my garden. Turn it off. That was 36 meters. 36 meters. 6,000. Turn it off. I can hear the high voltage cracking even from here. Can you imagine that? 6,000 microrangians in 36 meters. I think we have to dig deeper and try to measure radiation at 100 meters and 300 meters as well. These numbers are just incredible. The radiation is monstrous. Have you ever thought that an X-ray can be this radioactive? Imagine if we could see the beam. It would be shooting here like this. Even the professional dosimeter can measure up to 100 rangas per hour, and it couldn't cope with this radiation. What if some crazy had come to his window, turned on this thing, facing his neighbors, and shoot it for 24 hours? That would be terrible. Just imagine how dangerous this creation is. It is a cyber weapon. But don't worry, we have no neighbors. My brain is boiling. So no one will be hurt here. What's the matter? Let's test our suit. Will it protect us or not? You're gonna see it for yourself. Did you say you feel bad? That's a hell, it's emitting from behind too. And the case electrocutes me, but I keep holding it. Let's set the dosimeter here and see what it's going to show us. Turn it on. The radiation is really high anyway. 4,000 microrangians. Leave. It lets the radiation through, oh my gosh. But how? Turn it off! Well, it makes the radiation weaker 1000 times, so the protection works. I know that all of you are eager to see my toes in the X-ray band, that is going to be risky. We are afraid to be electrocuted really much, the voltage is really high. It is safe more or less, right? It's gonna be okay. Just don't make any abrupt moves, and you'll be fine. It's your turn. What do you mean? Aren't you supposed to launch the machine? Turning on the coil? Oh my gosh, scary. Turning on the machine. Awesome! Now I can move them. That's enough. All was good. We're gonna see what we've got. Was it cool? Yeah, awesome. Really? You're gonna see this. Turn off the Wi Fi and close the door. All was good. Good? Just get on your hand as soon as you turn it off. Alright. Now look at the screen. Holy moly! Creeps! Put it farther, deeper, oh my gosh, enough! That's a hell, Anton, that is just amazing, oh my gosh! Pity I haven't seen that! I can't believe this, we have filmed that, oh my gosh! So, how do you feel? How is your hand? She will never forgive me for that. What are these spots? Look here! What, uh... What's gonna happen to this vintage player being exposed to the powerful X-rays? Let's take a tape, put it and play. Holy moly! Placing. Rock! Here we go! Well, let's burn this thing. Do it! Whoa. That's nuts! Whoa! 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 Is it spinning? Yeah, it's spinning! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Rocking? Sure thing! Oh yeah! Guys, we also want to see what is inside of this kind of PSP. Ta da! We can see it well. Raise it up a little. Oh my gosh, holy moly, it's screen! There's a white noise. Oh my gosh. These dots are from electrocution. Aha, uh -huh, from the high voltage. Here and especially there. Heard that? But why? Does it charge? Yes. But how is that possible? It is turned off. I think you are keeping the charge on yourself. That is on Fritz. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, do you see that, guys? 
on and it's all covered in white noise. Oh my gosh. The last record was better. And the sound is oh, yeah, terrible sound. White noise. So modern cameras they kind of can't catch this noise. From X-ray, they have special protection, dude. Do you want to try it? To film on the cam? Aren't you afraid? Oh no, screw it! I've just bought a new smartphone. I don't think we should put it closer. It will break nothing and turn into a plastic brick and become useless, and I would throw it away. Let's destroy something we don't need. I have something. Oh, look at this one! Alex, let's destroy this one. There's a flashcard, and I can turn on some music. Is it going to glitch? It's 500 megabytes, we don't need it. What if this memory be erased? Nokia 3250. Let's set it like this. And now we're gonna irradiate it just a little bit. Well, it feels good, guys. Turn it on. Forgive me, Finnish company. Nothing is happening. Yeah, it's Nokia. Can you see through? Hardly. Yeah, see. Turn it off. It's aluminium, guys. It can't damage this Nokia. That is the best phone ever. My respect. Let's start to kill this one. Stop, turn it off. There was something. <laughs> Let's check out the video. The white noise again. I read on the internet that there is a big trouble in space. All memory cards lose their data. So memory erases from the powerful cosmic X-rays. We have tried hard to erase memory from flashcard, but we never made it. Nothing happened. So we need much more powerful rays to erase data, I think. Nevertheless, the cameras glitched all the time, and the microphone was cracking and hissing, and all this white noise. And such a smartphone GPS doesn't work after this. What is your phone model? The Nova case Renault. And yes, we have burned down the tester, by the way. Let me show you, you're gonna be shocked. Let's go here. Turning on. See what it does? The display has gone crazy. Screen. Now it shows only nonsense. It is out of order. So anyway, X-ray is dangerous for electronics. And is always unpredictable. Holy moly, I forgot to remove the safety catch. As you see, stars came to pick us up. And there we go. To test this X-ray gun. Driver, the headless cabman. Let's go. Let's go to a field, white field, and test it there. Let's check the shooting distance of this gun. Task has prepared a special stick. Because our thing is a little dangerous, it electrocutes. That's it. Yeah, awesome. We're going to the safe distance. Hey, what about me? Stas is getting nervous. That's not surprising. It will be the race, Stas. So you are safe, in theory. I don't believe you. Do you think we have walked 300 meters? Yeah. Okay, turn it on. It's cracking. Nothing here. What a hack. Maybe we broke it? Guys, imagine that. We have had a breakage, and the inverter got burned. We are not going to repair it, because the transistors will cost a half of a new inverter. Look here, a new one. We have bought this one, another color, yellow, so cool. 22 bucks. I have never found anything cheaper on the market. Look, this light comes from the battery. Never give such things to the villains, guys. Haven't you shot someone? Come on, confess. He's a maniac. What? We aren't going to stop. And again, here we are in the fields. Let's test this X-ray gun. Look, guys. Let's go test it. Go. Stop! Stop! It's off scale already. Isn't hard. So, guys, at this distance, it's just... Hey, turn it off! Turn it off! He's keeping it working, oh my gosh. Sasha is a slowpoke today, and instead of shooting, he radiates us all the time. Turn it on! Turn it off! Was it too hard? It looks like it was too much. <laughs> that was too hard, dude. Have you seen that? What happened? 
Sasha was electrocuted very hard this time. It was working normally, then it started boosting, I only said turn it off. I missed, and then... I got it. That happened because of the metal beneath. Recently there was disassembled a huge demographic scanner in a university, and I've got a super powerful x-ray head tube with a massive spinning anode. I plan to connect it to the high voltage line of about 110 kilowatts and use this powerful x-ray coming from this iridium window to kill birds in the skies. You're gonna see it in the next video. Write me what do you think about it. Compare its size to the one we have used before. Anton, what happened? What the hell? Is it itching? My skin is burning and it's itching like crazy. Can you measure the temperature? There are some spots, dude. You were scratching it too hard. I don't know, but... Is that the food you placed in? Yeah. Is your hand heated too? You didn't believe me when I showed it. Really? For a couple of degrees.